it's important to know that what you're doing is actually helping, which the history of um, psychiatry and psychiatric treatment is, um, you know, un until recent years, is not a very glorious history in the sense that we've done lots of things that turned out to be wrong. And so I think it's really important to, to test the, the, the new things that we're introducing actually help people rather than hurt them. I think the most exciting, but the one where we have we have the most progress to make is prevention, you know, because that's ultimately what we want to do is reduce the frequency of mental disorders. You know. Second thing that's happening is the there's been a revolution going on um, in global health to bring mental health um, to integrate it with global health. And then the third is neuroscience. You know that um, <coughs> I don't really I think it's overrated. Honestly, the, um, the focus on neuroscience um, and the focus on genomics, that doesn't mean that I don't think it's really important. If we talk about young people, you know, it's by far the most, um, it's the predominant disorder among young people, are mental disorders nowadays in high income countries. And yet, there's no, um, the services are like minimal and the research is minimal in this field. So. Um, compared to say, uh, let's say research on cardiovascular disease or cancer in the same age group. And yet, you know, m what, mo what most people are suffering from are mental disorders. So there's like a huge discrepancy and, that, and that's across the globe, you know.